Hey there, Kat Stancic here with Action Incubator and wanted to talk to you real quick about why people may not be buying from you and why more people aren't necessarily buying from you. And the reason is, is that they are not problem aware. So there are different phases by which people actually become clients. And the first one is, is that people are walking around and they don't know that they have a problem. They just, <laughs> they uh, something's happening, but I don't really know what's going on. The second thing is, is that they don't know that they are, so there's a solution for them. And then the third thing is, is that there's a product that can help them. So we're going to talk about the first one in terms of people don't buy because there aren't, they aren't aware that there is a problem. And if they're not aware, then they can't ever really buy from you because they don't know that you exist, right? So you have to be consistently talking about the different levels of the problems that those people are potentially encountering. Meet them where they're at. Talk to them in the language that they're at. So if someone is actively looking to fix a certain problem, talk to them about that, knowing that the process for them to fix it may not be exactly what they have in their mind, but don't worry about that because the, pro the process is what they need and people do not buy what they need. There are not many of us who go out there and buy salad every single day. We know we need to eat it, but sometimes those french fries look a little bit more appealing and that's what we want. So what you do is you talk to them about having a balanced life where they can still have french fries, but we're not going to talk about how much vegetables they need to necessarily eat. All right. So another example is, is you need to meet them where they're at. And here's an easy way to be able to do it. I'm going to use cough drops as an example. And the, how you do that is basically communicate information for free that you put out there. This is your content that you're consistently putting out. That's a little hint, consistently putting out so that people can consume it and go like, oh, I have a little pain. <laughs> cough, cough, here's a cough drop, consume it, free information. The next level is people start saying, great, you know, I've consumed this free information. I want a little bit more. Um, I'm still coughing. The pain is still there and I haven't been able to solve it with just the cough drops. So that's where they may buy from you at that lower level tier. $497 offer, something along those lines. Maybe it's a $27 offer. However, you've structured, structured your value ladder. And so they take that and that's akin to you saying, here's a prescription for cough medicine with a little codeine in it uh, so that it soothes them, it lasts a little bit longer. And that may just very well be all that they need. But let's say that they've consumed that, they've implemented, and they're not necessarily getting the results that they want, but they've solved a certain pain with that information and they need more. So that's when you go in and you do your thorough assessment. That may be a one-on-one -on -one offer or a group program where they get much more access to you. And that's where you prescribe them the antibiotics. That's the thing that's going to help them get really well because they've gone through the different phases and have identified the different problems and they've solved certain pain points where they've then revealed the next level pain that they do want to help, that they, they want help with to resolve. So that's how you should be thinking about your free content, about your low dollar offer, and then your higher ticket offer, where you're constantly communicating about all three, making people problem aware so that they can then become solution aware and so that they can then become product aware, right? So that's how you fit into each of those stages and would love to hear how you may tweak some of what you're communicating or what it is that you're going to be implementing from this little share from today. All right. See you later.